In this video, I will show you guys how to design this unique touch flyer in color draw. So to follow up with this design, you will need a Photoshop installed on your system because we'll make use of a mockup, which this is the mockup right here. So I'm going to put the link of all these images in the down description below for you guys to check it out and make use of it. So without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to CorelDRAW guys. So the first thing we're going to do is change our size. And the size we're making use of is 1080 by 13 of 50 pixels. So to do that, come over to your unit and change this to uh, pixels and uh, select uh, 1080 by 1350. All right. So this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to bring in my rectangle tool as usual and draw those for weight. And this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 1080 by 1350 so it will fit some frames so as you can see it's not really fitted the frame so to do to change it to frame you have to uh um press little b on your keyboard to make it fit frame so to remove the blood stroke this is the blood stroke we have come about to this and select set outline color and boom guys this is basically what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to import the images and the backgrounds for this tutorial so to do that come over to file um locate imports should call this control i on your keyboard all right so i'm going to just go over here and select where my files are saved so basically as you guys see this is the mockup that i showed you just select this select this select this select everything apart from the mockup all right so i'm going to um click on import and basically i'm going to place all this over here and this is basically what you're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it this image. I'm gonna scale it up just right here. Scale it up this way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and select power click, then place it into the frame. If you select power click, this arrow is gonna come up. And once it comes up, you're just gonna basically place this arrow on this empty frame here and I'll left click on it. And this will take itself into the frame. So to adjust this, we're gonna right click and select edit power click. All right, so I'm gonna just place this one over here, just right there. And we're gonna blur this background by going to Effect, select Block, and select Gaussian Block. All right, so you can leave that at 17 uh, 0.2 pixels, and we're cool with that. And now this is basically what you're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip this using uh, my mirror tool on my toolbar, just the horizontal. All right, this way, and I'm going to bring this down just right there. And this is basically what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to bring in my, uh, okay, before we do that, before we do that, I'm going to come over to um, my effects, select adjust. I'm going to select my color balance. All right, so once you come over to your color balance, we're going to play with this color. So I'm going to increase my blue, all right, my blue color. And once I increase that, I'm going to increase, I'm going to let me decrease my, uh, my magenta and increase my red a little bit. All right, so we're going to have a uh, blue at, let me just finish before I give you the numbers. All right, so let's have blue at 36, uh, magenta as minus 32 and uh, uh, red at 22% and 24%. So you're going to click on OK, and this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my rectangle to draw a box just right here. Select my um, eyedropper tool, pick a color, and drop it in here. And this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my color, uh, color thumbnail over here. And once I do that, I want to just basically um, bring this to so this blue and I'm going to leave that to that. All right, so click on OK. Now, to fade out this to the background, select the transparency tool. Click and drag just right here. All right, so click and drag just that way. And this is what we are going to have. So, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click on finish. And once I click on finish, this is basically what we're going to have. So, the next thing I want to do is uh, Okay, I want to bring in this and scale it up this way. Bring in this and scale it up just right here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, 
I want to um, slip this one to the right by using my mirror tool this way and uh, bring it, then scale it up those right here. And this is what we have yet to have. So that's what I'm going to do is I want to select this and make use of my shift plus page up to bring it forward. And I want to go to my effect, select adjust, select my brightness and contrast. All right, increase that to 29, 29% in spite. Then select this one, go to effect again, adjust brightness and contrast. All right, increase that to, let's say, okay, 37 is fine. And this is basically what you're going to have. So we're going to go to adjust, um, sorry, effects, adjust color balance. So once you do that, you come to your color balance. All right, I think this is fine. Same settings we had earlier. All right, you can come to adjust the gain, select color balance. All right, to this image, you can see the colors are kind of blending now. So this is what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my transparency tool. Fade out this edge just right here. Then select this one. Fade out this edge just right here. So you can see part of it is showing in this image. I'm going to bitmap it. Go to bitmap. Your color mode change it to RGB. Then select OK. Then you can fade out this part just right here. So it will stop reflecting on this image. Now this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's at the middle. Then I'm going to right click at select part it, then place it into this frame. And this is what we're going to have. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it this and scale it up just right here. And once I do that, I'm going to just basically place it into the middle. Now I'm going to use my transparency tool over here and um, fade out this edge. Bitmap it. Like I told you, if you want to uh, fade out multiple edges in Corel Draw, you have to bitmap. All right. So once you do that, you come over to your bitmap and bitmap again. All right. So make sure you're fading it correctly. So bitmap again. And as you can see, we have some black over here. Make sure you fade it out correctly. Fade it out correctly. And now um, come to your mesh mode and select soft lights. And once you change it to soft lights, you're going to blend this to the background just right here. If you get it, if you make it to this point, congratulations. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and bring it down here. All right. So we must basically scale this one down a bit. All right. So once you do that, now as you can see, if you look closely, we have, we have like a white uh, stroke on this image. So I'm going to just go to effects, select um, blood, select feather. And I'm going to just increase that to 13. All right. I think. 16 is too much, so let's make 11 as our feathering. And as you can see, the, the line has disappeared. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right tape on this and select power tape, place it into this frame, and leave that over there. And the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in um, the theme of this um, to be by his, by his tribe. All right. By his tribes, all right. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, double click on this and select um, Control A using Control A to highlight everything. Then use Shift F3 to change to uppercase. And once you do that, um, it's going to change to uppercase. Now, I'm going to change the font of this to this Sintel uh, Black. I'm going to put the name in the down description below Sintel Black. Now, I'm going to use Control plus K to break it apart, all right break the text apart. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my, let me give you the white color so we can see. All right. Now I'm going to use my shape tool and uh, reduce the spacing just right here. Do the same to this. All right. Now this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure this is at the middle and I'm going to scale this up just right there. Remember I told you guys there's a mock-up for you guys, which we're going to make use of it on this text. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to come over to this uh, tool over here, my shadow tool. If you come close to the corridor, you will see some in the tools bar, you will see like an arrow pointing down. That means that's to tell you that there are more um, tools hidden there. All right. So I'm going to come over to this hello, uh, uh, what is it called? The envelope tool. I'm going to highlight this, not delete it. Highlight this, not delete it. 
Then I'm going to um, come back to this and put this just right here. Uh, take this one up, just right there. All right. So I'm going to just scale this one this way. All right. I'm going to distort that to bits. All right. So I'm going to apply this. Same here. Delete this. All right. Take this one up. Take this one up. Make sure the alignment is the same using your envelope tool. And this is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to just uh, scale this up this way and change the color to black. And once I do that, I'm going to just um, select this, export it as PNG, come over to your file, select export, then select this. Uh, you can select where you want to save it. All right. Um, you can just change it to, let's say, a G. Save it as anything, guys. Save it as anything. All right. By his. And um, you can save this one also as PNG. All right. Save as type PNG. Anything you want to save it as, you save it. And you click on OK. Make sure your transparency is checked. All right. So click on OK. And that is what you're going to have. So next thing I want to do is I want to come over to this uh, file we have over here. So I'm going to double click on this mockup. All right, so once you double click on it, it will open and come to Photoshop. All right, it will bring it to Photoshop. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this and you're going to come over to this and uh, basically come over to this and double click on this uh, thumbnail over here. And once you do that, it will bring you into this. So click on Don't Resolve and you can uncheck this one. Now, come over to where your file is saved. All right, you can just drag it into this drag it over here and you can scale it up this is the file we saved earlier you can basically just drag it and check this once you check it you can come over to this close this one and uh, click on yes so that it will replace the one we have earlier so once you do that you wait for it to load the bit and this is basically what you're going to have so now to remove this background come over to this background and click on this eye icon here all right so make sure you check all of this all right, make sure you check all of this. Okay, the text. Make sure you check all of this. Let me give this background so we can be seeing what we're doing. All right, we can see I'm unchecking all of this. All right, you can see this is scheduled. I don't want that over here. So now we can remove the background. All right, there's a globe on this. We can remove the globe. All right, so once we remove the globe, let's remove the shadow. And uh, we can save this as PNG. Come to your file, save this as PNG. All right. So once you save it as PNG, you can save it as anything you want. All right. And uh, let me save this as text. All right. So once you do that, just basically what? Um, click on OK and uh, wait for it to load just this way and click on OK. And this is basically what you're going to have. So you're going to do the same thing to this one. Um, double click on this. Once you save that one, Click on Done Resolve. You can basically uncheck this one and uh, come over to where you saved the other one. All right. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section. You can basically draw this one, drag it just right there. Sorry, this we, we picked the wrong one. So I'm um, gonna basically okay. I want to drag this one just right here and uh, place it just right here and click on OK and just check it up and you can close this one, save it. So it will replace the other one we have. Now you can basically wait for this to load. And uh, you can see, guys, this is basically what you're going to have. You're going to just save it as PNG as we did earlier. By coming over to File, Save As, and Save As Type, locate PNG, and um, click on Save. And that is what you are going to have. So once you do that, now you can come over to this. And once you have done saving, you just drag it into Current Draw. Or you can just import it to Current Draw. And this is basically what you're going to have, guys. As you can see, if you made it to this point, congratulations, guys. So I'm going to use my um, shape tool and basically reduce this. I'm not reducing the text, guys. I'm just trying to reduce the, the space so I, it won't take much space, as you can see, guys. All right, as you can see. So um, basically, let's just uh, reduce this. And I'm um, going to place this one here. And initially, we're going to make use of this, uh, the font we, we make use of initially. We're going to arrange it just the way it is. As you can see, this one was smaller. And we brought this one down here. 
and this one over here and uh, this one just right here and that is what we're going to have so basically now you can either delete this or put it aside in case you want to make use of it you can just place this one just right here i thought you guys how to make use of mock-up in current uh, in photoshop so you can check out my previous videos so in case you don't know how to do or uh, how we actually arrive to this now the next thing i want to do is i want to just ungroup this and what I'm going to do next is I want to apply the shadow to this by going to my shadow tool, draw this way. All right. Apply the shadow to this one. Now, what I'm going to do is, oh, the shadow is much. Now, let me basically apply the shadow this way. Now, I'm going to just basically ungroup it. All right. Ungroup the shadow from the text we have. So, I'm going to take this one out of bits. The shadow is looking big, so what I'm going to do is I want to reduce the feathering to 10. Alright, so once I do that, now I'm going to just reduce the opacity. And that is basically what you're going to have. So for this one, alright, I'm going to ungroup it. Now once I do that, I want to basically bring this one down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, I will just leave this to this for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this background. I'm going to scale it up this way. I'm going to use my shape tool and drag this one down. Because I just need this part over here. Alright. I just need this part over here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my transparency tool. Fade out this edge. Bitmap it because we're fading out multiple edges. Alright. Now I'm going to bitmap again. Fade out this edge. Bitmap again, fade out this edge. Now I'm going to go to my image mode and change this to screen. Or let's try soft light. Or let's try, okay, that is not cool. Let's try soft lights. So we can leave that to screen. And that is basically what we're going to have. I'm going to reduce that and leave that to that. All right, so this is basically what we're going to have. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go into this frame and bring this one down. Scale it down a bit, and um, you know, once we do that, this is basically what we're going to have. So, the next thing I want to do is I want to copy this, copy it and paste it over here. Now, I use my transparency to I bring it down because I don't, I want it to be on top of this image just right there. And this is basically what we're going to have. So, the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in this background, all right, and I'll place this just right here, all right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to use my transparency tool and fade out this edge because we don't want everything to show. Now, I'm going to bitmap this, all right? Fade out this edge, bitmap again, and fade out this edge. You know, I'm just teaching you guys how to blend backgrounds, all right? Different backgrounds. So, I'm going to change this to screen. Or let's try soft lights. We can try overlay. All right, so let's leave that to overlay so i'm going to just well, i think overlay is not giving us what we want now i want to just change this to soft light or let's try screen so you can basically leave that to screen okay let's leave that to screen oh it's too bright though let's change that to overlay or soft light now this is basically what we're gonna have so i'm gonna take this one up and right click and select party place it into this frame now go inside the frame again and flip this just right here. And once you flip that just right there, that is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to just basically copy this and paste this again. All right. So now this is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to bring it this background. Right click and select part here, place it into this frame. Then go into the frame again and place this one here. All right. So I'm going to basically select my transparency to fade out in the background, bitmap it, fade this edge to the background, now change it to screen. Okay, let's try overlay and let's try um, soft lights so we can lift that to screen. All right, but um, this is actually uh, so much. So now let's change this to black and white. All right. Okay, so the black and white is 
not actually what I want. I want it to be in that color. Now, this is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to just basically scale this one up and um, turn this one up a bit. Take this one up. And that is basically what we're going to have. So the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in this stretch logo. Place it just right here. And um, leave that. So that. All right. So this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is let me delete this one. The next thing I want to do is I want to bring in this light flake. Scale it up this way. All right. So once I scale it up, I'm going to change that to screen. All right. So once I do that, um, let's change that to screen and leave that to that. All right. So I want to reduce the opacity of this. So let's reduce the opacity this way. I don't want that to be that shiny. So we can bring another one here or we can basically leave that one there or let's leave the one. I think one is fine. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to bring this light flare over here. And I'm going to scale it up just right there. And uh, I'm going to change this to screen. And um, this is basically what we're going to have. So what we're going to do now is we're going to scale this one up just right there. And bring in another one here. Reduce that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my effect, select, adjust, select my color balance. So I'm going to um, increase my red, increase the yellow, magenta. Can I follow my settings, guys? Can I follow my settings? All right. So this is basically what you're going to have. 24, 40, 54. All right. So this is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing I want to do is uh, I want to basically leave that to that for now and uh, come over to this and um, type 9th April 2022. All right. 10 p.m. House on the rock church Lagos Nigeria. Now I'm gonna just reduce this and give it a white color. Alright, so once we do that, I'm gonna just put this here and break it apart and make sure it's aligned in the middle. And once I do that, I'm gonna just bring this one down here. Alright. So once I do that, I want to just basically place that here and uh, now I'm going to just make sure this is up a bit and uh, put that there and leave that to that. So I'm going to take this one up and uh, all right. So I'm going to bring this one here and type something like this. All right, so once I do that, I'm going to give it light yellow and uh, use my um, shape tool and increase the spacing just right here. And um, you can actually edit this, put your address over here or anything, anything of such. Leave that there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Let me give this one spacing again. All right. And I want to change this to us to pop. And I'm going to bring this one here, reduce it. And uh, basically, uh, I'm going to reduce this one just right there and uh, bring it down here. And bring another one here and type Travis Green. All right, so this is basically one you're going to have. So, guys, if you made it to this point, congratulations. And basically, guys, this is how I made this unique church flyer in Corridor. If you have another question, guys, please don't forget, drop me a comment in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to put the resources of this um, design in the down description below for you guys to check it out and practice. All right, see you guys in my mess video.